Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, popularly known as FXR, and I'm back with another video. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. We do a lot of fun things here. Now today I'd like to answer all of your questions about hair grease. You all have a lot of questions, so I want to make this a two-part video, and I'm not trying to waste anyone's time, so let's just jump right into this. Now, of course, before we do, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know if your question was answered, if you see yourself in this video, if you have any more questions, please be sure to share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. Please be sure to thumbs up because it lets YouTube know that this kind of content is worth viewing. And last but never ever least, of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Okay, I'm gonna give you a moment to subscribe, why not? Okay, that should be more than enough time. You should be subscribed. Let's just get right into this. If you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram via Efik Zara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. There you can see all my lovely pics and interact with me. And be sure to also follow me on Twitter via FXZara, the same E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. -A. There I talk to you all, I share my thoughts, and we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways very soon, so stay tuned. So how do you use grease? That's a question I get really often, but there's sub questions within that broader question. So I'm going to go over your questions and put them in this video and answer them very thoroughly. Now, all of the questions here I've grouped into categories based upon what the overall question is. And of course, I'm going to answer the sub questions within those questions. Inception, question, dry jokes aside, I'm going to answer these questions as thoroughly as possible for all of you so that we come away learning a lot and knowing exactly how we can use grease to make our hair thrive. I love you. I watched every single video. It's a blessing. I just have a question. I speak French and I don't really understand how to use grease. Is it only on the scalp or do you use it in another way? Will you show us by a video? Thanks for all. Hey guys, I'm sorry to ask, but how are you supposed to apply grease? Do you section it and apply it to your hair? I know this is a really dumb question, but I'm a teenager who has just started to learn how to properly care for my 4C hair. Thanks y'all. First of all, there's no such thing as a dumb or foolish question when it comes to this type of thing. Now, I'm pretty sure back in the day, it's primarily our parents or our caregivers that did our hair right. And if you were using grease, it was at the whim, the will of your parents or guardians. So there's really nothing wrong with not knowing how to use it now. Now, I don't wanna go into too much detail in this particular video because in my Truth About Grease video, which I'm going to link in the top right corner for you all to view in another window or tab, I go into extreme detail regarding how I use grease. Now, in my wash day series, I'm also going to do that at length, show you all how I apply grease, but that video tells you all exactly how I apply my grease, at what steps within my hair care process, and the various ways I use grease to cater to my hair's needs. Now in my own regimen, I use it on my hair and on my scalp. I love grease, and because both my hair and my scalp are prone to dryness, I need to use a heavy sealant to keep the moisture in. And I'm also in a very arid environment. I need something that's going to ensure moisture does not leave my hair and enter the environment. Now again, if you'd like very detailed information on how I use grease in my regimen, please check out that particular video. And of course, it's in the cards in the top right corner. Hey, my hair is extremely dry too and I'm glad I found this video and so I bought a lot of hair products but I have a question. After I wash my hair, I apply the tea tree oil with hot water. Is it fine I use a deep conditioner then grease or do I use either? Okay, so after washing your hair, you should deep condition or protein treat, period. You need to do that before applying 
the grease. So after you've deep conditioned, you, you know, rinse out your deep conditioner. And then if you want to use my tea tree oil and hot water mixture, then you're going to spray that on your scalp just to, you know, help balance it a little bit, keep the fungus and bacteria at bay. And then you're going to apply your grease to your scalp and you're going to apply your grease to your hair. Now I have a favorite products video that details exactly what greases I use on my hair and my scalp. And I'm going to link that again in the top right corner. On my scalp in particular, I like to use Sulfur 8 for the body of my hair, my hair shaft and my ends. I use a variety of greases. Again, I'm going to link that video here for you all to check out. And I'll also put the greases I use in the description box down below. There'll be links there where you all can click and purchase. Is there anything you would put in your hair and scalp before applying grease? Does anyone have any methods? So grease is a sealant. When I'm using grease, I like to use my leave-in, probably an oil, and then I'll apply my grease. On my scalp, I like to use my tea tree oil and hot water mixture. Now, this is part of my own regimen. And in a regimen, when you're using a sealant, you use your sealant as your last step typically after a styler depending on what type of styler you're using there are some sealants that you might use before a styler but again it depends on what styler you're using so for me if i'm using a gel and the only gel i use is my gorillas knot again i have a products video which is already linked in the cards if i'm using that gel i use it following my grease because i want to make sure that all the moisture is very well in my hair and then i apply my grease and my gel yeah so that's how i go about doing that but of course again there are several ways to do that and if you'd like to learn how to build a regimen i have a video for that and i'm going to link it in the cards so that you can structure your own regimen according to your hair's needs so do i use grease before or after i use my coconut oil or is it better to mix it together how about mixing castor oil into grease and using it both on the scalp and strands? Does not oil and grease create buildup? How much oil and grease do you put on your hair? So this is like a two or three prong question. Of course, it's three different people asking me about oil and grease, but I think we could break it down into two parts ultimately. So oil and grease, does it cause buildup? Should you mix them? Should you keep them separate, apply one after the other? Now, if you know I hate coconut oil, and I'm gonna put that video in the description box down below, it's a pretty old video, but basically just sums up why I really detest coconut oil. But if you do use coconut oil and it's working for you, that's wonderful. If you're going to use your coconut oil with your grease personally i would put my coconut oil if i used coconut oil on the hair shaft and then i would put my grease on the ends so my coconut oil will coat my entire hair shaft this is after moisturizer and i would seal my ends with grease now if you want to use the grease all over your hair you can use it all over your hair without the oil that's probably how i would do it or you can indeed mix it with the coconut oil now my favorite oils are almond oil and carrot oil and again you all can see those things in my favorite products video which is linked in the cards i know i reference my videos a lot y'all it's because i already have this information for you and i don't want to continue to repeat myself i think it's easier to make sure that you have all the sources so you can view these things you know so just to reiterate you can mix your oil and your grease i think that's a great way to thin the grease a little bit but make sure you mix it well so that you're still allowing the petroleum jelly aka petrolatum to coat your strands properly and protect them that's really the whole point of using grease now with castor oil sure you can actually mix that into your grease also it's a similar concept if castor oil works great for your strands awesome you can use it before and then coat your strands in the grease of course after moisturizing or you can mix it in with your grease now if you're going to mix it in and apply it to your scalp i personally would use a grease specifically formulated to improve scalp health if you don't have scalp issues like i do from time to time then you may not need to use a dedicated scalp grease when you're using your castor oil so does oil and grease create buildup i mean it can if you're using it improperly if you're being very heavy-handed but petrolatum is actually less prone to building up and clogging the pores than oil and 
butters are, if that makes any sense. That's because it's so heavily refined if you're using the right type of grease that it's actually non-comedogenic, which means it does not clog the pores. Now, I've talked about that in my Lies the Natural Community has told you about grease, which I'm going to link in the top right, because I'm sure that a lot of you will be watching this video before any of my other videos. So if you want to basically bust those myths surrounding hair grease, then I advise you to open that up in another window or another tab and watch that after watching this video. Now, how much oil and grease do I put on my own hair? That's another part of this question. When it comes to my own hair, I'm pretty heavy handed. I'm going to be 100 because if my hair is weighed down a bit, it responds better. And I don't know, I used to think that my strands were fine, but maybe they're more like average thickness because I can get away with using a lot, a lot of product, but they might also be average thickness now because of my henna usage. That could be the reason why, but whatever the case may be, I'm pretty heavy handed. I don't advise that you're this heavy handed, but after moisturizing and doing everything you need to do to prep your hair prior to the grease usage, I would say that when you're applying the grease, your hair should be fairly slick to the touch so that you know your strands are well coated. You don't need a lot, but that's how I like to gauge this. And of course, please experiment whether it's a lot or a little. I shaved my head in November and now I'm sporting a super tiny teeny weeny afro, maybe an inch of growth. How would I use grease for such little hair? Do I use it just the same regardless of length? That's a great question. Yes, you would use grease the same way. Now, if your hair is that short, you might just apply it all over your head after moisturizing, but I would advise using it the same way that anybody else would. If you twist your hair, you can apply it to the ends only. But again, there's such a small amount of hair that you might as well just apply it to the entire strand and just call it a day. It will do what it needs to do. Keep your hair nice and moisturized for a longer period of time. Is the grease used as the styling product or can you layer it with your favorite product afterwards? That's a great question and one I've answered a bit already. Now you can actually layer it with another product afterwards or you're going to use it as the last step. It really depends upon what you're doing to your hair. And like I've said, when I'm using my gel, I like to use grease as the penultimate step. So I use my grease prior to applying my gel so that I can ensure my hair has the moisture locked in super important to me super important to my hair's health and it's really changed the game for me can i ask can i use grease to do a wash and go what about a twist out of course you can. Now, if you don't want to actually apply a product that has hold, grease can be your last step and it's going to give you a very defined twist out and a really defined wash and go. If I was doing a wash and go though, which I never do, I would probably use the grease as my penultimate step again. And then I would be sure to apply my gel and allow my hair to air dry. Would I use a diffuser? I mean, it depends. I haven't done a wash and go in so flipping long, y'all. <laughs> So I don't know, I might diffuse just to make it dry more quickly, but who knows? Now that we've gone over how to use grease, if you have any further questions, please use a red emoji, preferably a red heart, down below. Type in how to use grease and ask your question. Now, if you're using a MacBook, you could type in command F, type in how to use grease, and you'll see everything highlighted for your ease. That's why I want to structure this video and the comments so that we can all help each other out. Now, if you have any tips to provide, please use the same format of a red heart, how to use grease, and then provide your tip. If grease seals so completely, how can I continue to moisturize and hydrate my hair during the week? My hair needs to be hydrated at least twice a day. Hey there, just a quick question. Once you've moisturized the hair and sealed it with grease, how do you go about continuing to moisturize it throughout the week? Or do you have to wash the hair again? Any information you can provide would be great. How often should you apply grease within one week? How do you moisturize your hair every day with grease? Or do you only moisturize once a week? How often do you use this method with grease? So how often do you apply grease to your hair? Also, do you use it directly on your hair or just your scalp? I guess my question is, how exactly are you applying it? I've always used to like my hair grease but stopped because of false reviews. Softy grease was a true staple when I was younger. Can someone tell me when are the best times to use grease? 
When greasing one's hair, do you only grease it once or do you spray your hair with water and grease every night? So this is pretty much all the same question, but I wanted to include all the comments so we can answer every part of these questions very thoroughly. Now, if you're using grease, you don't need to hydrate your hair every day. The whole point of grease is so that you don't have to moisturize your hair every two seconds. That's a lot of stress for a lot of people and it doesn't always work. And some of us have busy schedules that don't revolve around our hair. Now, I know that sounded really shady, but I'm not trying to shade anybody. I'm just being very, very forthcoming. I don't have time to moisturize my hair every other day it's just too much it's too much so i use grease and i typically use it once a week then i reset the process and i do it all again so again i moisturize my hair with grease once a week sometimes i might be bad and stretch that to like 10 or 11 days maybe even up to 12 depending on my schedule and what i will do then is i'll re-moisturize at the end of the week with my moisturizer water of course prior to the moisturizer my oil and my grease now i typically concentrate on the ends of my hair but again you have to really know and understand your hair because if you use grease it could give the illusion that your hair is more moisturized than it actually is but because i'm applying water probably drenching my hair which is typical for me my hair is actually taking up the water and remember water molecules are actually small enough to penetrate the grease. The issue with grease comes when you apply too much because then you have the structure of the grease fitting together and making it more difficult for the water molecule to penetrate. But if it's a reasonable layer, a layer that's not too occlusive, then you should be able to re-moisturize after seven days. So when are the best times to use grease? I think that the best time to use grease is after you've shampooed, deep conditioned, conditioned prior to deep conditioning, moisturized, treated your hair. That's how I use grease and that's how it's able to keep my hair really, really healthy and moisturized throughout the weeks. Now that pretty much answers all our re-moisturizing questions. If you have any further questions, drop an orange emoji down below, put re-moisturizing in the header, and then ask away. And of course, if you have ways of doing this, please let us know so that we can adopt these principles and better our hair regimens. Can grease turn into dirt after, if unkempt and unwashed? Um, no, it can't turn into dirt, but it can actually trap a lot of particles from the environment the same way that, you know, environmental particles get trapped on your body. But it's not going to have a negative effect on your hair if you're cleansing properly and cleansing regularly. And of course, the grease forms a barrier between your hair and the environment, so it actually keeps your hair relatively clean, technically speaking. I loved your video. What I want to know is, should someone with low porosity hair who uses grease use a clarifying shampoo weekly? How often do y'all wash your hair using grease? That's my biggest thing. I have grease, but I haven't figured out how often I need to wash my hair. I use a sulfate shampoo and then a moisturizing one whenever I do use grease, but do I wash twice a week or once a week? I know sometimes you can't feel the dry hair under grease. I have a question. When I use the hair grease, can I re-moisturize and seal it with grease again or wash the first layer of grease off? Well, to answer your questions, y'all, um, I personally shampoo my hair oh, once a week to once every two weeks. Now, in between my grease sessions, I might actually just like vigorously co-wash. So I'd use a cleansing conditioner and my normal conditioner and it gets my hair 
fairly clean, though of course you're still gonna have some residue, duh, because <laughs> grease isn't gonna come up all the way with conditioner. And even though there's surfactant in conditioner, it's not going to do the trick 100%. And of course, you can't expect to use a moisturizing conditioner and get that grease out of your hair, which is why I opt for a cleansing conditioner if I'm not trying to strip my hair too much. Now, I will definitely, within the course of 14 days, if my hair is, you know, not in any kind of extension or wig style, I will wash my hair with a shampoo or a soap. Now, that's either going to be black soap castile soap or shampoo and again you all can check out my favorite products video as well as my regimen video so you understand how i approach those things and they're still linked in the cards now personally i would not wash my hair twice a week that's excessive in my humble opinion i think it's safer to go once a week once every two weeks maybe even once a month depending on how your hair responds to grease and re-moisturizing but again you have to experiment don't just take my word for it and personally i will not go more than two weeks it's just nah never <laughs> now we've already touched on me re-moisturizing and sealing with grease so you can do that but i wouldn't try it a third time i just wash my hair and make sure i reset so my hair is not giving the impression that it's moisturized when it's crying out for water you feel me hey i have a couple of questions why do you apply grease to your scalp but not oil and do you have to use sulfate shampoo since you're using grease is a diy african black soap shampoo strong enough to remove grease effectively from the hair and scalp what are your thoughts on using African black soap to help wash out hair grease? Or would using a sulfate shampoo cleanse better? By the way, you are stunningly beautiful. I have a question. Does Castile soap get rid of grease, like Blue Magic? Can someone recommend some shampoos that would help wash the grease out? Okay, these questions are pretty much dancing around the same thing. What do I use to get this grease out my hair? Well, I use all of those things. I use a sulfate shampoo, I use black soap, and I use castile soap. Um, I think that the most effective grease remover is probably the black soap, and the castile soap is probably a close second. Sulfate shampoo doesn't always do it for me, which is kind of funny, right? I feel like I have to shampoo more times to get all the grease out of my hair but black soap is stripping it strips your hair very well so i love to use my black soap when i'm washing my hair and it's really great for my sensitive and sometimes troubled scalp so to answer these questions yes and yes you can use all of those things to wash grease out of your hair and again products video y'all so you can see exactly which ones i use now y'all know the drill if you have any questions pertaining to cleansing yellow emoji down below a yellow heart preferably cleansing and the header header <laughs> and then of course ask your question or provide feedback that will help us to broaden our knowledge on how to cleanse our hair when we're using hair grease hey i have the same moisture issue and i am currently dealing with the scalp fungus what did you do to get rid of yours please now the reason why I include this one is because I solved this problem with hair grease actually and I solved it with sulfur 8. Now I know y'all are looking for that sulfur 8 video but I'm gonna link it in the cards when I actually release it. I'm sure it's out by now. So go and check that out. You all can see how I mix my special sulfur 8. I occasionally have eczema of the scalp. Do you recommend oiling my scalp with grease? Um, now that's something I personally cannot advise on because I don't know enough about eczema. It looks like it might be some sort of autoimmune disorder. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm gonna put some sources down below after I do some research about what eczema is. If you have eczema, if you've suffered from eczema, especially on your scalp, please drop some information down below. Is grease okay? I think maybe tar grease would be good, but I, again, I don't know much about that because I don't really have any experience with that condition. So let's make this a forum where everybody shares, please. So everyone, that's the first part done. That was a really long video and I hope that you enjoyed yourself even though this was a lengthy video and I hope my voice was a bit soothing you know I'm not super extra in my videos it's just chill vibes over here I hope y'all enjoyed that now if you've made it this far you already know what to do drop a blue emoji down below and again please share your questions with me once more I'm so grateful to have all of you and I hope that this was as helpful for you as it was for me
because I mean, thinking about these things has actually renewed and refreshed my knowledge about Greece, as well as made me think more consciously about how I use Greece in my own regimen. So again, if you've made it this far, drop a blue emoji down below, and I'm gonna ask you to do four simple things. Please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below, share your questions, your thoughts, anything. Talk to me, I love to hear from you. Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never least, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to stay tuned for part two where we answer more of your Greece questions.